Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you pipelining in computer and by having pipelining, how computer will increase execution speed of program. See here in pipelining, basic concept is that execution of instruction is getting bisected in two stages and those stages are getting performed in parallel. So because of parallel execution of instruction, you will be observing speed is increasing. Let me explain you that by one example so that will give you more clarity. For example, if you observe here, very initial processor of Intel that was 8085 and it was executing instruction as per fetch and execute. Inside fetch, it was performing two operations, fetch and decode, right. So here, see I have shown four instruction execution. So first instruction that is getting executed as per F1 E1, F1 means fetch of instruction 1 and E1 means execution of instruction 1. So if you observe sequential execution of instruction is happening over here, F1 E1 means execution of first instruction as per fetch 1, execute 1. Then F2 E2 means execution of second instruction as per fetch 2, execute 2. F3 E3 means execution of third instruction and F4 E4 means execution of fourth instruction. Now same execution that is been done in 8086 but along with two stage pipelining. Here if you observe this execution is happening in parallel. How you see? First it is fetching first instruction and in second cycle when it is executing first instruction in parallel with that it is fetching second instruction. So in next cycle what it does? It will execute second instruction and in parallel with that it will be fetching third instruction. And in next cycle, it will be executing third instruction and in parallel with that, it will fetch fourth instruction. And in next cycle, it will be executing fourth instruction, right. So if you observe over here with 8086, because of two stage pipelining, you will be observing execution speed of program that is increasing very fast, right. You can say almost two times execution speed is there in terms of pipelining over here, right. Here, my dear students, what is the basic concept that engineers have applied over here? Previously, what was happening was like in CPU, there was fetch. After fetch, they were been decoding it. After decode, they were been executing it. But here, if you observe when fetch is happening, after that when decode is happening, at that time, unit of fetch that is free. And when that decoded instruction that is getting executed, at that time, decode as well as fetch units are free. So instead of having all those units free, what they have done is they have make it active. How? When first instruction is getting fetch, it will go into decode stage. When first is getting decoded, at that time second is getting fetch. When first is getting executed, at that time second will go inside decode stage and third instruction that is getting fetch. So because of pipelining, what is happening? All the stages of CPU that is getting busy in execution of instruction and because of all the units are busy in pipelining you will be observing that execution speed that is happening and that is referred as parallel execution of instruction right so you will be observing there are various computers that is available with various stages of pipelining let me give you one more example that is the regarding arm 7 tdmi processor right in that there was three stage pipelining so if you observe that second example in that you see without pipelining what is happening fetch decode execute fetch decode execute that is how instructions are getting executed and for five instructions you can say at least five into three means 15 clock cycles that we need to have it to have execution of five instructions but in arm 70 dmi we are having three stage pipelining in that you see first instruction that is getting fetch over here in first clock cycle and in second cycle when it is getting decoded in that parallel you will be observing second instruction that is getting fetch over here right and in third clock cycle first is getting executed in parallel with that second is getting decoded and third is getting fetch when second is getting executed in parallel with that third is getting decoded and fourth is getting fetch when third is getting executed in parallel with that fourth is getting decoded and fifth is getting fetch and that is how in parallel execution of instruction is happening. So if you observe how many clock cycles that we need to have over here, 
number of instructions plus two. You see here five instructions are there, right? So how many clock cycles that we need to have? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So for five instruction execution with three stage pipelining, you need to have number of instruction plus two means for five you need to have seven cycles of execution while without pipelining it was taking five into three means 15 clock cycles so here basic fundamental is what my dear students basic fundamental is here we are keeping all the units of cpu busy and because of all the units are busy parallel execution is happening and because of parallel execution is happening entire speed that is getting boosted over here like you see here when first instruction is getting fetched second is getting decoded over here right and second is getting fetched over here so you see when fetch is happening at that time decode and execute those units are free when decode is happening at that time fetch and execute units are free when first is getting executed at a time fetch and decode unit those are free and because of sequential execution of all those micro operations you will be observing only one unit that will be busy but instead of that, if you go for pipelining, then what will happen? In pipelining, you will be keeping all the units as busy. Now, there are a few more basics that I would like to inform you. Like see, it is not about only two-stage pipelining or three-stage pipelining. In market, there are many computers that is having various formats of pipelining. Like as if you see ARM9 processor, in that you will be observing there is five-stage pipelining, right? In that stages will be as per fetch decode execute memory and write back right likewise there are various computers that is having multi-stage pipelining like as if you see pentium processor in that there were two parallel pipes and each pipe that is having five stages right so here what is the agenda of pipelining pipelining's agenda is to increase speed now increase speed is happening in pipelining without increasing clock if you want to increase the speed of execution of program then there are multiple ways like one thing that you can do is you can have higher speed of clock rate if you increase the clock frequency then what will happen execution speed of instructions will get faster right but here we are not increasing clock speed here we are providing parallel execution in which all the units of CPU that we keep busy. Busy means when first is getting fed, second is getting decoded, third is getting executed. At that time, you'll be observing all the units. Those are busy. And because of all the units are busy, you'll be observing efficient performance that will come, right? So here, you'll be observing many questions that will be going to come in competitive examination as well as university examination based on this topic. In next video, I'm going to explain you how parameters are there with pipelining and those parameters are very essential in solving problems based on pipelining. I hope it is clear to you still. If anything that you would like to share it with me, please note it down in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.